Are you trying to level up your collection? Let's talk about the true purpose behind using guides like this one. Roll it. So guys, welcome to another video. So basically, you know, as you can see by the thumbnail, we are here to talk about identification and field guides for your favorite collectibles, which of course are G.I. Joe and Transformers. First off, let's do let's do a big shout out to Mark Bellamo because this guy, this guy know, knows his stuff. You know, Transformers Field Guide by Mark Bellamo. Now obviously, you know what, obviously these are, you know, there's probably newer versions out, but for the sake of this video, this Transformer Guide covers all Generation 1 Transformers and this Ultimate Guide to G.I. Joe covers everything from 1982 to 1984, which is for me, basically all I care about these days. So, you know, it's the second edition. There is a more, uh, there's a newer version out there, the third edition. The thing is with these guides, some people love them, some people hate them. For me, I actually really enjoy them. And there's a couple of reasons. We'll get to that in a second. There are definitely, there's apps out there that you can get for your phone that will help you with your G.I. Joe collection and your Transformer collection or any collection at all. There are websites that you can enter all your data in and everything. Um, you know, other people use Excel spreadsheets. Other people use text documents. There's multiple, multiple ways of organizing and recording what you have in your collection this for me is one of them and now you know what it's not just like boom i'm going to use this or whatever it's for me it's a combination of things i usually use these two guides uh to catalog what i need and what i have and then you know based on what i'm in the mood for looking for i'll shorten the list and move it to a text document or always have available on my google drive so it's uh you know on my cell phone when i'm out i'll be able to quickly reference it but this is basically what I use to take care of myself. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second, right? So let's just move the Transformer field guide over and you'll get to see quickly what I'm talking about. We open it, series 1983, Polar Bear, Polar Battle Bear, sorry. Iconic toy from Jojo, uh, the snowmobile. Let's see, look, for me, I have a tick box that I have the shell. I have a tick box that I have each individual piece, boom. I know in my collection that I have this thing complete and it is good to go. It's my book. I don't care if I write in it. It's it's just it's just to help me figure out what I need and what I don't have. You know, we stop on Baroness for a second. Uh, I have her obviously. I have the backpack, uh, her weapon. But you know what? That's fairly straightforward. Let's jump ahead now. And sometimes I make notes on things too. And this the SMS, the Cobra Sentry and Missile System, a Sears exclusive. I think a Canadian Sears exclusive. So I actually have this red hiss, an original one that I got in a trade or a garage sale like years ago. I do not have the missile system. However, I believe Target released reissue missile system. So I have this complete. Well, I have this original, I have this reissue, obviously, as noted in my collection. For to me, I just need a sample of things, so to me, that's that's good enough or whatever. But these are my notes, and this book, these books do such a good job. Because, you know, you can write in them, you can make notes. I stop at the Tomahawk, and I actually don't have an official G.I. Joe Tomahawk. I have the Eagle Hawk, the uh, reissue. Uh, it looks identical pretty much to the original one, but that's what I have in my collection, and that's great. I'm fine with that, but it's noted here. Uh, the Triple T. I have a Triple T. It's complete, but it has cracked hinges, so this thing can't go on it, so I need to get a new one, a different one. See, these are notes to myself, and this book is the ultimate place to keep it, because I'm sorry, you're not going to lose the book. You're, you're always going to have the book, right? You know, the Heat Viper. Boom, 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 boom. Everything's ticked. I have it. Uh, the Night Viper, uh, same thing. I have it, but my guy's broken. I need a new nose piece for him. So, you know, these are simple notes, and because you can't remember it all at any given time. Like, so what I've done, obviously by now you realize that ticks are for things I have, but anything that with a little square box is something I don't have. So, you know what? I don't have the mouthpiece, the breathing apparatus for the eels. So, you know what? If I ever get one, Boom, tick, the the the, uh, the record is updated and um, it's, it's a great way to do things and I highly recommend it. So that's my G.I. Joe book, obviously. It is uh, the second edition. I got it 
a lot of years ago. I don't even know when. It needs to be taped up. Uh, my kids love looking through it. They love it. They love it. Um, they are like, hey, Dad, why don't you have this? Hey, Dad, where is this? Do you have it or whatever? So, um, you know, Crusader Space Shuttle. Need the front wheel. Boom. Uh, Destro's Razorback. I need the globe, the, uh, the, the glass there. Uh, there's, you know, a wealth of information here and I really enjoy it. I highly recommend any G.I. Joe collector out there should get one of these books. Get the version 1 one, get the version 2, get the version 3. It doesn't matter. All the date, all the pictures and everything, they're just there to represent what you need in your collection. They are all the same. So get whatever one you can get. Highly recommend it. Then, on to this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I started this video, I had no clue that Mark Bellamo did both this book and this book. Um, I picked it up and I was going to introduce it to the Warman's Transformer Field Goal and then a uh, Fear Old Guide and then I noticed that Mark Bellamo did it. So it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm sure I knew that year, a long time ago, but I just in the process of doing this video, I forgot about it. Anyways, so very similar thing. This is a smaller field guide. I think you can get a larger version of this book, like similar to this size, but this is a field guide. Uh, it was good enough because it basically has every transformer in it. So I stop at 1985 Series 2 Astro Train. By my information here, I have a tick, so I have an original Generation 1 1, but I have an R next to it as well. So I have a reissue from the Hasbro Toys R Us commemorative series as well. Uh, same thing in Secticons. Tick, reissue. Uh, now, Smokescreen. I actually, I have a large Transformer collection, but I just, I don't actually have a lot of the original cars because I ended up collecting every single one of the Toys R Us commemorative series reissues. So I felt like, you know, that was good enough. That was good enough that I could just have the reissues and have a sample in my collection. Like, Starscream, he was forever a hole in my collection, and in the last year and a half, I was able to pick up a really nice Starscream for a decent price here in Canada, and so I made sure the box is now filled in with a tick box, and I know that in my collection I have a Starscream. So, I don't have a Sunstreaker apparently. Anyway, so lots of wealth of knowledge in these in these little field guides. Um, I highly recommend anyone who is a series collector should pick one of these up. And I'm sure you can get them at your local bookstore or you can get them on Amazon. Uh, I'll provide links in the description below of ones that I've noticed on Amazon. This is just another little collector talk video that we're doing. So check out the playlist to see what else is on that playlist. And as well, we have lots of GR joe videos and lots of other cool videos give some as a like give us a subscribe we'd really appreciate it thanks bye